back to a new session on dentistry and more. So today we have a demonstration video on dental elevators. So these are the dental elevators which are used for extraction purpose. So most commonly elevators are used when a forceps can't encase the tooth properly or to retrieve a broken root tip and also to lexate the tooth before application of tooth forceps. So we have displayed a few dental elevators. So these are the basic principles of elevator. Liver principle, wheel and axle principle and wedge principle. So liver principles we know we have studied in physics. It is first order liver where the force arm, the resistant arm and fulcrum. Fulcrum comes between force and resistance. So if the force arm is greater than the resistant arm, we have mechanical advantage. So fulcrum is at near to the resistant arm and we have a longer force arm. So if force arm is greater than the resistant arm, we get mechanical advantage. So it is commonly used in straight elevator. Straight elevator can be also seen here in wedge principle. So mostly we use combined uh, principles in application of elevator and Copeland's elevator, Apex elevator, uh, Warwick James elevator, all these comes under liver and wedge principle. So the next principle wheel and axle principle. So it is like uh, we are taking a can of water from the well. So this is our uh, force application and this is our motion happening in the resistance. The force and the resistance. This is the axle and this is the wheel okay so it's just like a screwdriver this is the wheel and axle so we rotate it anti-clockwise and there will be axle movement so this is the force radius and the axle radius so if the bigger the force radius and lesser the axle radius we have mechanical advantage so more radius we make this force radius so there will be mechanical advantage on this wheel and axle principle so it is commonly used in cryos and crossbar elevator so this is force radius resistance radius force and resistance this is directly proportional so in wedge principle so we apply wedge towards the apical direction between the tooth and root so there will be force at the apical direction and the movement of the tooth at the coronal direction so opposite movements happens when wedge is being inserted between the root and tooth that is commonly used for the root tip removal so that's the liver principle, wheel principle, wheel and axle principle and the wedge principle. So the first one we have is a straight elevator. So you can see. So the basic parts of an elevator is handle, shank and blade. So shank connects the handle and blade. So you can see it's a straight elevator. So the apex is little pointed. So as I mentioned in the principle, so it can be used as a wedge principle to lexate the tooth. So as to make the extraction easier. So the next we have apex elevator. So this is a straight apex elevator. You can see it has a concave surface and a convex surface. So always the concave surface or the curved surface should be towards the tooth surface. So it is also can be used with the principal uh, wedge and to lexate the tooth and also to retrieve the root tips. So this is a different one. This is a curved up accelerator. We have a pair instrument for the right and left so you can use it for the mesial and distal side so this curved instrument is used to retrieve root tips mainly from 
maxillary or mandibular side molar root fragments so it comes in pair so it is also applied the wedge principle so here we have a set of Couplans elevator so Couplans elevator the tip will be flat and the same convex concave surface is there so concave surface will be towards the tooth so it has various dimension so it is a small one it has wider version also so all these used to luxate the tooth so these are Couplans it is invented by a dentist Douglas Coupland in Canada so that's why it's known as Coupland's elevator so this elevator is known as Warwick James or hockey stick pattern so you can see the tip is little bit like a hockey stick so it has a pair instruments pair forceps that is right and left it is commonly used to upper tooth removal of upper third molar you can use the wedge and liver principle so when the accessibility of forceps is minimal so you can use this particular Warwick James elevator for removal of upper third molars or upper tooth so this is a similar one but a straight elevator same Warwick James but it's the tip is very straight the blade is very straight So this is a Cryer elevator. So Cryer elevator also has a pair, the right and left. So it is used to remove the root tips and also to remove the intraseptal bone. So if mandibular molars one root tip is removed and the other is intact, so we can use this and remove the remaining root tip by putting this into the empty socket mesial or distal and remove it so this applies basically wheel and axle principle so wheel and axle principle can be used to remove the mandibular root or even for maxillary root we can use the same forceps so only thing is it has to be uh, put into the empty socket if one root is already out so you can put that into the empty socket and remove the remaining root tips so the basic uh, principles of elevators are always we should not use the adjacent tooth as fulcrum so we have seen the first liver principle we should not use the adjacent tooth unless it is meant to be extracted we should always keep our finger as fulcrum and also never use gingival line or buccal or lingual plates as fulcrum because it might get fractured doing extraction and always the concave surface should be towards the tooth and this convex surface away from tooth so elevators are always used the principles are always used in conjunction or in combination that is wedge and liver principle or wedge and wheel and axle principle so basically these elevators are helping the tooth extraction by providing a proper luxation of the tooth if properly luxated the forceps can do the job very easily otherwise if the tooth is not properly luxated the tooth might get fractured so even if fracture happens the retrieval of root tips can be done easily with the help of any of these elevators so we have uh, many varieties of elevators in dentistry uh, for various tooths and on various jaw upper and lower jaw and various sides mesial distal right and left so i'll uh, recap once again the straight elevator the apex elevator the straight apex elevator the curved apex elevator it is paired instrument and we have various types of Couplands elevator this is a Cryer elevator it works in 
wheel and axle principle this is war big james elevator it works with uh, wedge and lever principle so these are the basic uh, elevators which used in tooth extraction so i'll come up with a new video in dentistry and more so thank you for watching